Hey everybody, it's Gunnarola. I'm here today at Assembly Chefs Hall in Toronto, Canada. It's a brand new dining experience and pretty unique in North America. It's perfect if you're like me and you just want to eat all the things. You'll find them here. Let's check it out. Assembly Chefs Hall is a new concept in downtown Toronto where you can experience global cuisine from 17 of Toronto's top chefs. So I'm here with Andreas, the mastermind behind Assembly Chefs Hall. I'm walking into this space. It's unlike anything I've experienced in Toronto. It's not a food court, it's not a market. What is this? So uh, the Chef's Hall uh, is a chef service restaurant uh, where you transact directly with best-in-class chefs from across the city in each of their categories. So from barbecue uh, to Thai to standing omakase to vegan, there's something for everyone within the space. Uh, and you as a customer can engage and interact directly with 17 of Toronto's best chefs who've each designed and built their own restaurants within the incubator space. For someone like me who can be very decisive when it comes to what to eat. I can just walk around and get inspired. And you can do that and sometimes you're dining out with someone else that you can never agree on on what to have. <laughs> and the beauty is you can come here, neither of you can agree, but you can agree on the fact that there's something for both of you here, even though each of you may end up having something different that night. Well, if there's one person I know I can agree with, it's Chef Nick Liu, the genius behind Dai Lo and now Little Dai Lo. Dude, you know what? Come back here. I'm going to feed you some stuff. So how would you describe the food that you serve at Dai Lo, Little Dai Lo? Uh, we like to call it uh, new Asian cuisine. Uh, you know, we take some of the things that I was taught by my grandmother and, uh, you know, kind of switch them around a little bit. It is really kind of a big cross between, you know, French techniques and French plating right. with, uh, you know, Asian techniques and Asian flavors. Uh, so Little Dai Lo uh, is some of our greatest hits, uh, like the sweet and sour pork, truffle fried rice, the Asian slaw. Now we have uh, some Peking duck, right, which is uh, confit duck first. Uh, and then we deep fry them so it's like nice and crispy on the outside, really soft kind of confit meat on the inside. Look at those f***ers. It's that f***ing massive. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> so this is what you call the Dilo platter. It's everything that we do here at Little Dilo. This is my lunch and Thank my dinner. Dilo. <laughs> okay, so many different scents. I can smell the truffle, the sweet yeah. and sour. We got this deep fried amazingness. Where do you begin eating this? Um, I would probably start with uh, with taking the meat off the duck wing, okay. right? Oh, right. it just peels that, right yeah, off like that. that. Just kind of falls right off. So you get your pancake. We'll take some of the uh, cucumber salad. I'm gonna go ahead, first bite. The thing is, like, reason why I came up with this style of uh, Peking duck is because, like, whenever I'm in Chinatown, right, or a Chinese restaurant, and I'm eating these, uh, the first course, I'm always like, you know what would be really great in this? Like, kofi duck. Because, like... <laughs> <laughs> Chopsticks agree. You got, like, those nice kind of salty, the fatty, yeah. right? And then you still get that crispy from the outside from frying it. Uh, so we call this sweet and sour uh, pork hocks. Mm. I love the combination of textures. Outside it's crispy, love the crispy, but inside it's so tender. Compared to like food court sweet and sour, this is not like, you know, overbearing. And it's made with all natural ingredients. It's a color you'd find in nature. It's not a radioactive red. Mm. Next to Little Dai Lo, you'll find Buemo by chef Ivana Ratza and Chopped Canada's Brad Smith. Buemo, we just thought bohemian vibes, free spirit, that's where we are. We don't want to put ourselves in a box and, and say we do Italian or French food or this and that. Like we say, our motto is we cook whatever the f we want. Essentially, that, that's what made me fall in love with Ivana's food was um, you can ask her to do anything. And the first time she's going to make it, it's going to be epic. And when I came to her, I said, this is going to be a really tough task that I'm going to ask you to do. I'm going to give you 400 square feet of a brand new kitchen. I'm going to put 1,000 people a week in front of you. I want to do a small menu and I want to execute it to the highest level, but I want it the fastest possible. And so what we've done now is we've taken her gnocchi, which is top 10 three years in her own Toronto. We've taken a burger that's gonna to be to on everyone's top 10 list this year. And we've done everything fresh to order that day in under four minutes. So today we're gonna to be sampling the white truffle cream gnocchi, uh, roasted mushrooms, shaved uh, black truffle right on top, and just finish with a little bit of Parmigiano right here. All right, gnocchi, my favorite of the pastas. Yeah, this one's gonna be great because it's like, you know, truffle gnocchi with ricotta. Some of my favorite two combinations. Mmm. That's good, eh? Soft. Just melts in the mouth. That truffle? I'm telling you, truffle is like one of my all time yeah. favorite things. You can make any ordinary dish super fans of truffle. Right? You really can. <laughs> it's love. 
as well. <laughs> Our next stop is Tachi, Canada's first stand-up sushi shop specializing in an omakase experience that's limited to eight spots and 30 minutes. For this traditional experience, the sushi chef decides which items you eat. Omakase basically is trust. You trust the chef, whatever that he gives out to you to eat. Seeing the customer eating the sushi right away and enjoying it, having a smile on their face, I think is the most satisfying thing for a chef. I believe we're different because we really, really emphasize on how we season and cook the rice. The rice is very important. It's kind of like no one really wants to eat some soggy pasta. Doesn't matter how good the sauce is. I'll leave it there. <laughs> yeah, so in my opinion, like, Jackie does some of the best rice yeah. in, in Toronto, like, and that's why sushi is so good, because it's really all about the rice. And isn't that beautiful? I mean, it's like art, right? Because it's, like, yeah. it's glistening, it's beautiful, and I mean, the way he makes it as well. I, you know, I think, I think anybody can enjoy this, right? You put it in your mouth, everything kind of speaks for itself. Well, I think too in North America we're so used to like, oh, you can eat sushi and I just need to cram all this stuff in my yeah. mouth, right? Which is, I mean, which is ridiculous, right? Because I mean, they're not using good quality products, right? And I think people that come here will actually, they'll know the difference, like, automatically. Mm. <laughs> I haven't had real sushi in Toronto till today. I've never it's had it. so good. <laughs> Next on today's menu is Cherry Street Barbecue, specializing in pit smoked meats, drawing on a variety of regional styles and influences, and they've perfected their techniques, so don't expect to need a lot of extra sauce. We do traditional Texas style, Southern style barbecue, all cooked on wood, no gas, no electric. Today we're gonna taste the menu. <laughs> I'm not gonna cheat you. <laughs> Why don't you guys eat it all? So we'll put a nice little platter together for you. It'll consist of our baby backs, our sides, uh, some turkey, brisket, a little pulled pork, and you definitely gotta try the beans because people can't stop talking about them. Oh God, it's so good. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. The texture, <laughs> the tenderness is perfect, the taste is perfect. It's not too like messy. I hate when uh, you know you get meat and it's just covered in sauce. Eat some of that. And you got there. <laughs> right? Got rub, what the hell? <laughs> These beans, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think that means it's time for dessert. We're heading over to Short and Sweet Bake Shop where you'll find delicious takes on your favorite homemade classics made from scratch every morning using only the finest ingredients. We are a nut-free bake shop, so no nut products, uh, peanuts, tree nuts, all that stuff. We bake from scratch, fresh, every day. Uh, for this location, we deliver here multiple times a day. We are the only bake shop at Assembly. We're, for the most part, the only dessert spot here. Um, so yeah, you can expect some really, really fun, cool stuff from us. Today we're gonna try uh, two different Sammies and a cupcake flavor. Okay, love s'mores. Cheers. Cheers, man. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Who? <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's a lot going on here. We got chocolate, we got marshmallow, we got a cookie, we got cupcakes, we got explosions, we got a mess. That's a sign of a good meal though. Thanks so much for watching, we'll see you next time. That's just a first taste of some of the many different options you can try at Assembly Chef's Hall. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like Gunnarola for more food and travel recommendations. À la prochaine.